Did you get it? Today, the state tested a new earthquake early warning system. It's called Shake Alert. It will give us a few extra seconds of warning before an earthquake, and that could be the difference between life and death. King 5 Environment reporter Michael Crow shows us how it works. Just a few seconds can make a difference. Stephen Morris is an ER doctor at Harborview, no stranger to stressful situations, and he knows the day the big one hits will be tough. But to help, he signed up for the test of shake alert notifications, Washington's new earthquake early warning system that had a dry run today, a sound and push alert to phones across Pierce, King, and Thurston counties. We can't play you that sound here because of FCC regulations, but Morris got it and reflected on what the real deal would be like. Getting a couple extra seconds of warning, what kind of difference can that make in a hospital setting? Certainly in our setting in the hospital, it can make a big difference. Our main priority obviously is safety in the hospital. So if we have patients that are in an unsafe position at the time that the warning would go off, we would be able to temporize that. Surgeries are just one reason Washington is launching Shake Alert, along with other jobs and automated systems that could benefit from a warning. The ability to slow trains, open fire station doors, and close water valves. So this is extremely important in the sense that we, folks will be able to receive a warning uh, to give them a few seconds to be able to drop cover and hold on and protect themselves before shaking arrives. Emergency management says the test was a success, though the website briefly crashed and a bug may have prevented some Verizon phones from receiving it. But that is why they test. So for now, testing and troubleshooting continues, which is what some, like Seattle Public Schools, are waiting for before adding alerts to their formal earthquake plan. Not yet. It's still very much in the preliminary phases. We're interested to see what the results of the test are and we'll be partnering closely with the Seattle Office of Emergency management to get their guidance as well. Though Morris will take any help he can get now. We're all very, very excited about the possibility of improving our ability to, to weather an earthquake that we believe is going to come at some point. Um, uh, you know, better than we would be able to without any warning. So here's what you need to do. Emergency management is asking you to go check the notification settings on your phone and make sure you're opted in for all emergency alerts. They want you to do that because they say they're actually not sure which one this would technically fall under between variances on different devices and manufacturers. So opt in for all of them to make sure you'd receive this if it were the real deal. In Seattle, Michael Crow, King 5 News. Michael, thank you. The 20th anniversary of the Nisqually earthquake is just a few days away now. From your memories of the quake to how schools, roads, and buildings have changed, we have brought you special stories all week long. Just text the word quake to 206 448 We'll send you a link to a special section at king5.com.